Emergency workers at the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan have made progress in their vital effort to repair the cooling system. By fixing a container at the end of a mechanical arm, they've managed to pump out a sample of highly radioactive water. Eventually, they hope to empty the reactor. New data shows much more radiation leaked from the plant in the early days of the crisis than was first thought. A U.S. nuclear safety regulator has described the situation at Fukushima as static rather than stable. Meanwhile, a Japan Airlines flight has become the first to land at the newly reopened airport at Sendai, badly damaged by the earthquake and tsunami. Many of the first passengers were people worried about families or homes in the region arriving back to an emotional reunion with relatives. Welcome back, said this banner. Some, like this psychologist, had come to help the hundreds of thousands affected by the dual disasters. This passenger said she saw it all on TV but didn't realize the extent of the damage until she saw it with her own eyes from the air. A month after the airport was submerged by the tsunami, it remains dependent on its own power generators and has no water supply. Limited domestic services have restarted. Authorities hope to resume international flights later this year.